a botanical name is a formal scientific name conforming to the International Code of Nomenclature for algae, fungi, and plants and, if it concerns a plant cultigen, the additional cultivar and or group epithets must conform to the International Code of Nomenclature for cultivated plants. The Code of Nomenclature covers all organisms traditionally treated as algae, fungi, or plants, whether fossil or non-fossil, including blue-green algae, chytrids, unwomycids, slime molds and photosynthetic protists with their taxonomically related non-photosynthetic groups. The purpose of a formal name is to have a single name that is accepted and used worldwide for a particular plant or plant group. For example, the botanical name Bellis perennis denotes a plant species which is native to most of the countries of Europe and the Middle East, where it has accumulated various names in many languages. Later it has been introduced worldwide, bringing it into contact with more languages. English names for this plant species include, Daisy, English Daisy, and Lawn Daisy. The cultivar Bellis perennis o cubifolia is a golden variegated horticultural selection of this species. Type specimens and circumscription, the botanical name itself is fixed by a type which is a particular specimen of an organism to which the scientific name is formally attached. In other words, a type is an example that serves to anchor or centralize the defining features of that particular taxon. The usefulness of botanical names is limited by the fact that taxonomic groups are not fixed in size. A taxon may have a varying circumscription, depending on the taxonomic system, thus, the group that a particular botanical name refers to can be quite small according to some people and quite big according to others. For example, the traditional view of the family Melvaceae has been expanded in some modern approaches to include what were formerly considered to be several closely related families. Some botanical names refer to groups that are very stable while for other names a careful check is needed to see which circumscription is being used. Forms of plant names, depending on rank, Botanical names may be in one part, two parts or three parts. The names of cultivated plants are not necessarily similar to the botanical names, since they may instead involve unambiguous common names of species or genera. Cultivated plant names may also have an extra component, bringing a maximum of four parts, in one part, plantae, marchanchifta, magnolia psida, liliadae, pinifeta, pegasinae, betula, in two parts. Acacia subg. Phyllodinu, Camilla subsect. Heliodrosium, Berberis thumberga, Syringa charisma euro a cultivar within a genus, Hydrangea lace cup group a euro a genus name and group epithet, Lilium darkest red group a euro a genus name and group epithet, Bophiopedium green chiala secrium and rasp brries grex. Snowdrop John Gray a Euro an unambiguous common name for the genus Colinthus and a cultivar epithet, in three parts, Callistagia sepium subsp. Americana, Critaregus azarolis valpontica, Bellis perennis o cubifolia a Euro a cultivar, Brassica loloracea gemifera group a Euro a species name and group epithet, in four parts, Scylla hispanica var campanulata rose queen a Euro a cultivar within a botanical variety. Apart from cultivars, the name of a plant can never have more than three parts. Components of plant names, a botanical name and three parts, that is, an infraspecific name needs a connecting term to indicate rank. In the Callistagia example above, this is subsp. In botany there are many ranks below that of species. A name of a subdivision of a genus also needs a connecting term. The connecting term is not part of the name itself. A taxon may be indicated by a listing in more than three parts, Sacs of Praga and Isoon Bara Isoon Savor. Brevifolia F Multicaulis SUBF. Circulosa Engel. And IRMSCH. But this is a classification, not a formal botanical name. The botanical name is Sacs of Praga and Isoon SUBF. Circulosa Engel and IRMSCH, generic, specific, and infraspecific botanical names are usually printed in italics. The example set by the ICN is to italicize all botanical names, including those above genus, though the ICN preface states, the code sets no binding standard in this respect, 
as typography is a matter of editorial style and tradition not of nomenclature. Most peer-reviewed scientific botanical publications do not italicize names above the rank of genus, and non-botanical scientific publications do not, which is in keeping with two of the three other kinds of scientific name, zoological and bacterial. For botanical nomenclature, the ICN prescribes a two-part name or binary name for any taxon below the rank of genus down to, and including the rank of species. Taxa below the rank of species get a three-part. A binary name consists of the name of a genus and an epithet. In the case of a species this is a specific epithet, Bellis perennis is the name of a species, in which perennis is the specific epithet. There is no connecting term involved, to indicate the rank. In the case of a subdivision of a genus the name consists of the name of a genus and a subdivisional epithet. A connecting term should be placed before the subdivisional epithet to indicate the rank, Paris Riant sect. For cataria, in the case of cultivated plants, there is an additional epithet which is an often non-Latin part, not written in italics. For cultivars, it is always given in single quotation marks. The cultivar, group, or grex epithet may follow either the botanical name of the species, or the name of the genus only, or the unambiguous common name of the genus or species. The generic name, followed by a cultivar name, is often used when the parentage of a particular hybrid cultivar is not relevant in the context, or is uncertain. See also, specific to botany, botanical nomenclature, hybrid name, international code of nomenclature for algae, fungi, and plants, international code of nomenclature for cultivated plants, international plant names index, international association for plant taxonomy. Correct name, validly published name, Author citation, more general, biological classification, binomial nomenclature, nomenclature codes, open nomenclature, taxonomy, undescribed species. References Bibliography, Pavard, Anna. The Naming of Names The Search for Order in the World of Plants. New York, Bloomsbury. ISBN 9781596919655. Retrieved February 18, 2015. External links, Raquel, C.D. Alexander, C. David, J.C. Hotariid, W.L.A. Leslie, A.C. Malicott, B. Jin, X. Editorial Committee. QB, JJ International Code of Nomenclature for Cultivated Plants, Incorporating the Rules and Recommendations for Naming Plants in Cultivation. International Association for Plant Taxonomy and International Society for Horticultural Science. Adopted by the International Union of Biological Sciences International Commission for the Nomenclature of Cultivated Plants.